Changes could be coming to the Pulaski County Special School District. The district recommending to close their virtual school at the end of the school year. THV 11's Jalissa Garza spoke to school officials at tonight's board meeting to see what prompted this idea. We are proposing to the board that we no longer keep our virtual school um, at the end of the 23-24 school year. Jessica Duff is the executive director of communications for the Pulaski County Special School District. She says the idea of creating the virtual school came about before the pandemic. We had already planned on launching and it was going to be a progressive virtual academy where we would start with maybe 75 to 100 kids, then go to 200 and so on and so forth. And we did our charter application in October of 2020. The virtual school opened its doors in the 21-22 school year with over 600 students enrolled. That was due to COVID and concerns and uh, fears of being in a brick and mortar school. So it exploded before we were ready to handle it, honestly. But since then, Duff says they've seen less interest. 22, 23, we dropped to around 200. And this year we barely have 100 kids. So the cost per student, it's roughly $18,000 per student right now. And the cost to maintain the staff and functioning the virtual school far exceeds the money that we're getting per student at this time. Because of this, they're recommending to do away with the online school. We went ahead and we informed staff last week. We informed our parents this week. Duff says they wanted to let parents know so they can seek other options if online schooling is what they want. They need that opportunity to do their research and be prepared for the school choice window when it opens in January. The district tells me ultimately it's going to be up to the board on whether they decide to do this or not, but that won't be decided until December. In Little Rock, Jalissa Garza, THV 11 News. The district tells us parents were provided with the list of options they have within the district and outside if they still want to do virtual learning. They also sent a link to a Google form that allows them to submit any questions they might have.